Alright, so in this tutorial, we will be sending notifications to Android or any other device using PHP and we'll be using Firebase cloud messaging or Firebase push notifications for that. Alright, so first let's create a function that will do our sending. So let's call it send FCM. Alright, so this is our function. Now, you know, let's, let's just get started. So, first of all, what you need to do is you need to uh, send or call this, call this URL that is Firebase Cloud Messaging's URL. So, this is the same for you. So, you can just type with me, googleapis.com slash fcm slash send. So, this is, this is the API of fcm that we'll be using. All right then you need your server key so this will be different for you i'll show you how to get this api key dot now this will be your server api key so let's see how we can get this key okay so this is the firebase console now you can go to console.firebase.google.com and you'll get this and now select your project uh, to which you know you are you want to send the notification so I guess I set anything now I go here in the settings go to project settings and you go to cloud messaging and this is the server key right so this is the server key you just copy this and let's get started all right so now that server key will be pasted here. You can paste your server key here. And after that, let's define some headers that we need that we use, right? So this is an array. And first we have authorization key. Authorization not key, authorization yeah, authorization key, my bad. And authorization key is API key. All right. And then we have content type. And that is application JSON. All right. Now we have our headers. Now we'll set our notification content. All right. So this is noti notification content all right so let's call this variable notif data now well, this is an array so we'll say what do you want to send as a notification title all right the title should be my new notification or anything like that and then we have a body what should be the description something like that this is actually a description so this is my notification body now this is the thing whenever you see a notification you'll have a title and a body right so this is the title and this is the body the body is the description kind of thing and also there's an image right there can be an image this is optional so if you have if you want some image to show with your notification then you can add the image URL here but let's not do this if you want you can add the image URL also and we have a click action so in click action this is actually a URL or activity of the thing that of where you want to go when the user taps on the notification so this can just be a URL if it's sending a notification to web or an activities name if you are sending to an Android, so I'll say activity dot notif handler. And this is also optional, so you can also skip this. So you can just have the title. So don't mess up this mess up the spelling like just like I did just now. So uh, this title and body should be there, and this image and click action are optional. So now you know what click action does. So whenever the user clicks on the notification, and this is where the user will be taken to and this is the image that will be shown 
in the notification overview. All right, so now we have what we need to show as notification overview. Now we can also send data payload. So this is the data the user will receive when the that the app will receive when the user clicks on the notification. So we can send some data, uh, you know, that your app can work on whenever user clicks on the notification. So this is, you know, this can be any JSON array. So this two or whatever, I can make it custom. So I'll just say, let's say two VIP and let's say date i'm just making this up randomly you can uh, you can keep this to your business case or your liking or whatever you want to do with your app so this will be according to your app data and we can also have something like like you know other data let's just say i have run out of creativity for this one <laughs> so this is just a normal json you know this is an array and this will become a say today json when you receive this in the app all right so uh, you can keep have this as anything or you may not have this at all so you this is also optional all right this data payload is optional all right now finally we have our notification overview here we have our data payload and now let's convert this into our api body Let's say create API body. Now this body is what will be sent to Google to this URL so that Google can Google can handle this body and send it to send it as notification. So let's say not if body equals to this is also an array as you can see. And now we have right now this is and this is optional you can write anything here but this this notification data notification body must be must have these keys all right notification and this is our notif data and then we have data this data is optional guys and this data is actually the notif payload on data payload that we had written on this data data payload is optional all right you may not send this if you don't have this and this is time to live this is if a device has not received the notification like this that, that is offline or out of network or whatever now how long do you want this notification to be alive like is this something immediate or do you want this to stay alive for a few weeks so the max is four weeks uh, this is what you want to let's say yeah this is what you want to be sent in seconds so let's say i want this to be sent in one hour because if this notification is not delivered in one hour then maybe the offer will expire or something like that so this is also optional and this is in seconds and max time is four weeks so you you cannot write four here you have to convert that four weeks in seconds so for us i'll just do 36 hundred that is one hour okay so time to live is done now finally we have two now in this two you need to add token or something called as token or reg id it's the same thing so you can have a token or registration IDs here, right? Or you can also have what is the topic. If you know what topics are, you can go topics slash what topic it is. Let's say new offer. So whoever has subscribed to new uh, offers, all those all those devices will receive this notification. All right. So if you want to send to specific registration IDs, not some topics. What you can do is you can do registration IDs and then you can have an array of registration IDs here. 
registration IDs or tokens they are the same thing guys here that this is in JSON all right so if you want to send to a topic all the devices that are registered to a topic you do this if you want to send to just one device you do this if you want to send to uh, multiple registration IDs regardless of the topics you do this all right so we have our data ready now we just need to uh, I forgot the semicolons here now we just need to send this to Google API all right so first of all we'll be using curl to send this so let's initialize the curl so I'll say curl in it and then we just set the core options set opt we set the url here and the url is our url we need to send a lot of things and let's set this to core post right so this is we'll be using post method to send so let's core opt underscore post is true so what else do we have here okay let's set the he headers HTTP header is our headers that we have set above right this is the header authorization key and content type and what else do we have we have post fields all right my battery is loading to do it quick core not core post core opt underscore post fields and this is our json encode we need to convert this to json and that is api body notify this thing not api body notify notif body and finally what do we need to do we need to just execute this and and see what we have returned, what we have got, whether it was successful or not. Execute this, and how do you execute this? And save it, save the result in result as okay. Now we have executed our call request. And let's print what we have uh, got from Google. All right, so. This is done, and now we need to call, call close the call call, guys. Don't forget this. To call the, uh, close the call call, and our function is ready. So now, what do we need to do? Let's just call this function. Let's say our function's name is send FCM. So, yeah, this is ready. So we have our URL here. We have our actual API key here. You need to put your actual API key. We have headers. We have notification overview outside, you know, that is visible when you receive a new notification and you have a data payload. So this will be received whenever a user clicks on the notification in your app. So you can receive this in your app. And this is the notification body. We have notification, we have data payload, we have time to live and we have where do you want to send this notification. And we are using curl to, say, curl to send this to Google API. And finally, we are printing the result and then let's call this functions to see what we have returned so now this is also available in github and the android part is also available so i'll drop the link in the description now let's call this thing and let's see what happens php sender.php i run this now send.php will be called so as you can see invalid key is returned okay so let's just change this with my actual server key and let's run this php file again and as you can see we return this response we get this response that says multicast id this this success zero failure one failure is one because we have 
if the registration is invalid we have no such topics all right so put uh, put your actual topic here and you'll be good to go all right thank you peace out